Okay, so these items just didn't work for me. Doesn't mean that there's anything bad with these products or items. It just was not a happy marriage and that's why it's on this list. If you wanna know what those are and what I wish I could have saved some coins on, then stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Simply Fabulux, where I like to talk about luxury goods and items, a little bit of lifestyle, and then I try to sprinkle in a few tips or advice that I've learned to pass to you. And this is actually a part two of my video that I started. And the first one was my favorite, my favorite luxury items from 2023 that I, ugh, use, love, wear, have, kept, all <laughs> right? And if you wanna check out that video of my favorite items from 2023, then it's definitely on this channel. So that means what you need to do is actually subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop new videos. This video is going to be about items or like luxury items that I purchased and did not quite work out for me. Now some of these items I actually learned within the time period to make a return. So I was able to take it back. Some items, yeah, that window closed on me and I still have the item. Try to make it work or at least work for my lifestyle. All right, so I should say that. So it's not like I hate the item, it's just you know, maybe I would have chose differently of what I know now to what I do then. So let's keep this kind of short. I don't have like a long list, but I did put it down on my phone so I can make sure I remembered what items they were. So to start with the first item, it is from Tiffany & Co. And it's their return to Tiffany bags. Ugh, I know. Now, if you wanted to review on it, I did do an extensive review on these bags. I had it in the micro size as well as the mini size in the gorgeous Tiffany blue. I love Tiffany blue. Just that iconic color. I bought them in the same color because I was just enamored over the moon for these bags until it came time to actually use these bags. Um, yeah, it didn't work out for me. I was like, no, no, no. And like the micro bag, I don't know, there's some parts of it just was not super functional. I like a micro bag. I actually have a lot of tiny bags, but that micro one with the handle, I don't know, kind of like a little kid kind of holding the bag. Mm. Yeah, it just didn't work out for me. Not a bad bag. I wouldn't say it has beautiful, supple, soft leather. But again, the micro one as well as the mini one, which I thought I could hold it better. Just like the handles, it, was, it wasn't right for me. You know, I think that's just what it is. It just didn't work out for me, for my lifestyle and what I needed it to be. So that's definitely kind of the number one, or not number one, that's an item that's on my list that I'm not loving or wish I just kind of would have known a little bit more when it came to this item. Now the second item on my list is the Dior Saddle Belt Pouch and I thought I'd get more use out of it than I actually did. I remember when I did wear it, it just, I don't know, I just needed it to do more things, especially for something to be small. I like to be able to carry like my lip gloss, just small items, my phone maybe sometimes, but this one just, it didn't work out for me. And I didn't do an unboxing of this, but I do have it here. I purchased this item, it's the Dior Settle Pouch. I'll definitely put the imagery on the screen and then take it out of this box because I kind of put it back in its bag. But this one comes with a belt and that's kind of why I liked it. It did actually fit my phone. It came with a belt and it was kind of to be worn more as I am like a, I guess a bum bag or whatever, but it was by Dior. It just didn't, this bag did not work out for me. It's just, I don't know. It's just one that just didn't work. It has a zipper detail in there, a nice little small space to like, again, put your phone in there, maybe a lip gloss. But again, out of all my small bags, and I have a lot of small, tiny bags, 
I didn't like this. I did not like this. Maybe if I just take off the belt part, because you know the whole point of it is supposed to be like around your waist, so it's kind of hands free, or you can put it like crossbody if you want. But I didn't like it that way. I tried a crossbody, I tried it around my waist, did not work out for me. So this is definitely on the list of items that you know was not loving for 2023 that I purchased. The next item, it's actually a surprise, so don't come for me. I've actually done a video about this, and it's not like it's a major regret. It just didn't work again for my lifestyle. And that is my Cartier Love Bracelet. You know, although I love this bracelet and I still wear it, I'm the type of person who likes to take off their jewelry at the end of the day. And before, you know, you come in the comments and say, you know, they have other styles, I definitely already knew that before I made this purchase. I knew about the cuff. I knew about, you know, the smaller size. Yes, I knew about it all, but I just, my heart was set on that love bracelet in the regular style or model. That's just what I wanted to go with. And it was gold. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna wear it on my own terms. And that's what I've been doing. I'm all about longevity, so, I can't you know, recommend this is how you should wear it because they definitely don't recommend this at Cartier. This bracelet is meant to be put on and stay on. You keep it on when you're sleeping. You keep it on when you're taking a shower or a bath. You keep it on when you're going to the gym to work out. You keep it on when you're going to the airport. Yep, you're gonna get stopped, but you have the Cartier Love Brace. Like you keep it on. And for me, that's just, I don't keep anything on. There's just certain things I want to take off and I don't always like to mix my metals. I know it's very trendy. Sometimes I do it, but I do it less times than often. I should say, I, I like to actually match all my metals. That's how I roll. <laughs> That's how I do it. That's kind of one of the items. Again, not a bad item. Love Cartier, still like love the Cartier love ring, but for the Cartier love bracelet, I didn't like it. It didn't work out for me. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So the next item on this list, again, not a bad item, love the item. It's just the design has a flaw that I particularly don't like. And I don't think it bothers a lot of people, but I definitely found that it was starting to bother me. And it is an item from Cartier, and it's their Just On Clue ring. I did do a video about this, about the Just On Clue ring, so you can definitely check that video out. An item that I might have maybe used that money towards something else, like maybe another Just On Clue bracelet, I love the bracelet, or maybe even adding more diamonds to my Just On Clue bracelet. I actually wear that bracelet a lot and really enjoy it. But the ring on the other hand, it's just that nail head. The nail head, the way it's designed, drops down below the band circle. So like here's like the band circle and then like here's like part of the nail head that comes down. It's down below that ring or that circle of the ring. It starts to dig into like your bones and it just annoys me and that's the only thing like I know like during the day I'll be like fidgeting and stuff when I do wear it and I don't want to have to fidget when I wear my rings I want it to be comfortable or I want to be comfortable when I wear jewelry and I did see people mention it but no one made it seem like you know what that could be a deal breaker that's the only one that I'm like I might have used my money somewhere else now, do I still wear it? Yes, because I purchased it and I want to get my money's worth out of it. So I go through the fidgeting and all that stuff and that's just who I am. I pay my money and yeah, if I'm wearing gold items, I will wear it. That is on my list of items that I'm like, did I really need that? Should I have thought a little bit better about that? Should I have done a little bit more research on it? Yes. So yeah, my Cartier Just On Clue ring. Now the last item, all right. Might be an unpopular opinion. I know people love this item. And then also people are like, uh, it just didn't work out for me. Again, it's not a knock on the brand, it's not a knock on the item. It's just an item that didn't work for me. Cause I know someone else will be like, I love it. It's the best, it's comfortable, it's great. It's so versatile. I have so many different varieties and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, gosh, I wish, I wish that was me. <laughs> I wish I could be like, cause I have tried different 
materials, um, got it in different colors, and it was just like, no. No, 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 no. And the item that I'm talking about is from Hermes, and it's their Oran sandals. Yes, so, I don't know, maybe because I have wide feet and it's not made for wide feet. I know people say, if you have wide feet, it might not be the, you know, shoe for you, but I've heard people who have wide feet, who said they get one up a size, and it's perfect, they love it, it's comfortable. But yeah, that shoe was just not comfortable for me. And I do try to wear it anyways. Again, like I said, there's items that when I buy it, I'm gonna try to at least get my money's worth. Whether it's wearing it, knowing like, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere and like sit for a while. I'm not gonna be walking up and down blocks or anything like that. Cause they just do not, they're not comfortable. Even if I'm just sitting somewhere, they're still not comfortable. And again, I think that's just me. I heard people say, well, make sure you get them in like a softer leather. Don't get them in the Epsom leather. Mine's not in the Epsom leather. It's in the more softer leather. And it's just, again, doesn't work for me. I've tried in other leathers too. And that's just the only one that it doesn't work for me. And I think that's okay. It doesn't make, you know, the item bad. I just think for my lifestyle, for my feet, <laughs> you know, it doesn't work as I, Again, tried different sizes and styles and varieties of leather. Yeah, and it's okay. Those are the short but few items. Again, I don't have like a long list because I really have loved a lot of the things that I've purchased and bought in 2023 when it comes to luxury goods and items. That's just, you know, again, my list of luxury items of 2023 that just did not work out for me you have made it to the end of this video now just do me a favor go ahead and hit the like button because that really does help me in you know in this youtube universe all right and while you're hitting the like button go ahead and subscribe to the channel become part of this community you're going to love it here and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i drop a video because i drop a video every week and i just cannot wait till i see you in my next video and have a great one bye